And then how it also just the, the shift now. in tone when you go to the Shire. Oh, it's so chill. Oh. It's mm. the most important thing in this entire series was setting up like how wonderful the Shire is. Hobbits have been living and farming in the four farthings of the Shire for many hundreds of years. Yeah, and you would think it would almost seem like such a it's such a jarring juxtaposition between all this like world shatter and stuff and the Shire. It's abandoned, Gollum. But something happened then the ring did not intend. But the way the outside world slowly starts to intrude upon it and you know the, mm -hmm. the the nine riders are sent out after frodo and they start to encounter them as they're making their way yeah it's pretty well done it was picked up a hobbit bilbo baggins of the shire in the extended version you see more of the citizens of the shire and how mm -hmm. i love that they convey that there's this sort of disdain for gandalf you know that he's like yeah. timothy leary of, of the world when he shows up people are going to smoke out and get a little crazy quite content to ignore and be ignored by the world of the big folk <laughs> You couldn't, there's, there's this great effort upon each of the places, let alone those like species in Middle Earth, that they've, they've tried to characterize it. They create a sense of culture. There I was, the mercy of three monstrous trolls. That was your idea! <laughs> Well, it's nice that you can look at there's like multiple different human civilizations that we see across these movies and not one of them looks the same rohan mm -hmm. doesn't look like gondor gondor doesn't nope. look like brie and yet they're unified right all the people from that area is something that connects them all and peregrine took i might have known the whole shire obviously it's shot on location for the most part and it's it's very mundane very normal and it gradually eases you into the, the other fantasy elements mm -hmm. that come mm -hmm. in more and more as you get through the story and it's again it's a great way of grounding it in reality and making you buy into the world because what you see initially is very real i don't know half of you half as well as i should like and i like less than half of you half as well as you deserve It helps when you get to Moria. It is a very powerful, like, tonal shift and sort of world shift because you've been in pretty normal places, the Shire, on the way between here and Bree and from Bree to Rivendell. Even Rivendell is like, okay, like, we're fantasy, but it's kind of, it, it's nice. It's really nice. You know, it's nothing crazy. Then you hit Moria and everything's super dark and underground and it's like, you know, boom, it hits really, really Imagine hard. Imagine if fucking Disney made this, like everything around <laughs> them would be just green screen. And I think that's a problem because like even a scene where, where Gandalf first goes and talks to Saruman at, at, uh, at Isengard, they'll show you an establishing shot that has an effect that's combined with live action and yeah. it'll pan down and you'll see the two of them talking outside, but they're, they're fairly medium shots, medium to close up shots. So there's, they don't have to put visual effects in them and it's them talking in real Ooh. environments. Then you cut to an effect shot. It feels much more seamless, but when you're in environments that are completely generated and there's no reality in them, you don't get that same feel. And this movie does both all the time. And so you buy into it. I'm trying to help you. The ring must go to Frodo. And the more you find out about the ring wraiths, the more terrifying they are. One of my favorite things about fantasy in general are the monsters that you can get out of them. And the yeah. Nazgul are like the just Harfits. like my favorite. He's got a, a separate looking hole just yeah. specifically for hobbits. <laughs> yeah, that's, great. that's a great little detail. <laughs> World building. What a quaint little village. Oh, I hope nothing bad happens here. It's the gradual intrusion of the real world into the Shire as well. Like, it's still got some of the look and feel of the Shire, but it's bigger and it's more sinister. Definitely you know, but it's... different now. Well well, yeah, something like, and we're moving through the world. Yeah, the adventure's begun. Something that's a bit more explicit in the book, but is alluded to a couple times in the movies, is that there's people like further east you go that just straight up don't even know what a hobbit is because yeah. they haven't yeah. been around for very long so it's also them just like realizing what the world really is like beyond the safety of the shot <laughs> 
I like that they used scenes like this just to mm -hmm. integrate like little moments of the lore. Yep. Like it's not really relevant. Well, it's a little bit relevant to the plot. It just helps flesh out the world a little bit more, even if you don't necessarily need to know the story of Baron and Luthien. Mm -hmm. It's just a little goes a long way, doesn't it? It gives it a uh, much more like a sense of being yeah. like a bigger place than what you see. Just because this is what we're seeing doesn't mean that this is the bounds of this world. Some oh, of the leaders. So fucking good. Yeah, I want to so go there. Amazing. It looks good like Lord. a painting come to life. A, a movie made more than 20 years ago, and it looks this good. It's yeah. stunning. You must take the pass of Karatras. Karatras. Yeah, that's nice and ominous, isn't it? It's, just, uh, it, it's like, by the way, I know you weren't done enjoying the stuff you were just seeing. Here's some more. It's like... Yeah. We must reach the woods of Lothlorien. On your feet, sir. Sometimes I look at these shots and I'm just like, how is this a real place on this planet? <laughs> it's too glorious. Right out! I mean, that's what scouts are for, right? They're supposed to find these locations. They used to have those in movies. I don't know if they do anymore. There's parts of uh, Arizona in the in the desert that look kind of like this, and especially like Rohan. Yeah, the Arizona yeah. desert looks like another planet. Yeah, it does. Kind of surreal. I've uh, talked about it before, but when you have like crazy weather events where everything goes red or crazy color things happen, I'm just like, are there directors out there now rushing mm -hmm. out getting their shots? <laughs> like, gotta well, get this. We had that, that weird dust storm thing in New York City. Where everything was orange. Oh, that was from the fires. Oh, the fires. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, from yeah that was all the wildfire smoke. I mean, from that me. shit was yeah. surreal. Stick out, young hobbits. They say that a great sorceress lives in these woods. That happened to us in San Francisco, and that was weird, dude, because everything was orange tinted everything yeah it wasn't as bad in michigan but everything was like a deep gray and the sun was just like a fucking red circle in the sky the air tasted fucking horrible you walked out yeah outside yeah, and it was just i'm out of terrible power Ugh, it was terrible san francisco looked like blade runner 2049 but more entertaining he's alive No, big intro to Rohan now. I think Rohan might be my favorite culture wow. in this. I, I just because I, they're white or that, yeah. But no, like they're they're clearly like a melding of like Vikings and nomadic horsemen and stuff. And I just think it's such a cool looking culture. I, I love the beautiful scenery that uh, that they exist in. I love the the way that they go to war. I think they're really cool. It was ambushed by orcs. If we don't defend our country. Saruman will take it by force. Gorgeous new area, lots of new ways to check it out, and even still, colors feel a little bit more uh, drab for now, before life is brought back to this countryside, at least somewhat. Saruman the White has ever been our friend and ally. What an inter interesting thing from the books, actually, when you get to this point in the story, Rohan is not allied with, um, with Saruman, but they are not... Uh, opposed to him and they actually like yep. um, sell horses and stuff to him like they provide him with military supplies Trouble, Rohan. it goes ill with the king yes and it will not be easily cured I, I wonder how long it took them to uh to scout all of the locations that they decided to shoot in like, maybe not long out. because everything's gorgeous there <laughs> maybe you still speak in riddles <laughs> They just yeah. assumed that over the next hill it would be great for a scene. It's like I a week. So, yeah, maybe. You, I, you know what's so disheartening? Like, can you imagine if this was getting made now? It would like the whole thing would be done on a volume screen. Yep. Shadow facts. It's the Lord of all horses. You can't just go oh, and film the planet. Oh, oh, and it's free. I mean, not totally free. You had to go there, but still. Also, the music. <laughs> All this dirt and rocks are just laying around. You could just film them. Free dirt for all. Don't even ask for. You don't even have to ask for consent. You could just do it. Matt, such a striking like visual, isn't it? Quite impressive. Yeah, it looks pretty fucking cool. Really, the defining like theme for the architecture is spiky and uh, jagged and 
kind of a little bit rusty. You know, when um, designing Halloween land in uh, Night Before Christmas, apparently the note from Tim Burton was absolutely no right angles. Everything oh, has to be wonky. Interesting. Yeah. Huh. Your whole day is sleeping or getting poked to open a gate. You wonder what they eat? Maybe it's orcs. <laughs> Orcs. A lot. Yeah, I yeah. Orcs. They just poop, they poop on orcs? the little uh, pathway there and kick it off. <laughs> just well, where it falls, it falls. God, the poops must be massive, though. Yeah, those guys have got to eat a lot that. per day. What lovely music! What lovely scenery! What a lovely flag! I hope nothing bad happened to it. I wonder if uh, this would have taken a few shots to get it to fall in a particular way. Probably. Yeah. Or maybe they got it first try. Maybe, like, God was like, I'll help you out with this one. You <laughs> You're making a pretty neat film. <laughs> give, give you a hand. Do not kill me. You will not kill him. Sorry, just enjoying the film. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's just, yeah, <laughs> oh. it's just really nice to watch that. Rohan is mine. Ah! You like how, like, as well, instantly the colors are starting to get brighter? Mm-hmm. As they were coming through, it was all like really washed out and muted. Now it's starting to get a little bit more vibrant. I know your face, Gandalf. Breathe the free air again, my friend. More warm. Yeah, it's, it's really subtle, actually. Also, oh, look. More things. Yum. Who are they? New culture. More rabbits. More rabbits. Oh, no, those are people. They are going to murder. They will soon be ready. I'm trying really hard not to bring up Rings of Power right now. It's, uh, it gets tempting. This movie's great. The elephants. The elephants. Oliphants. Big chongus elephants. Mooma kill. It's such a cool, like, it's a cool Yeah, they design. look great. It's That's like, awesome. it's the ultimate, the... take a real animal, now make the fantasy version of it. Yeah, yeah, and then you have, like, the big rickety platforms up top as well. That was cool. There is always smoke rising. They've been going on such a quaint little adventure with the tree man, you know? That's that's kind of where they would happily have led the rest of the movies, if not for uh, certain trees getting cut down. Treebeard was happy to remain neutral, but oh boy. Oh my god. Look at New Zealand, I mean Middle Earth. Wow, the CGI is incredible. I know it just keeps getting pointed out, but it's like, dude, Earth is pretty cool. You know, there's a lot of cool shit here. Yeah, Earth is alright, yeah. Can use. And it's so different than Gondor when we get there. There's just such a complete and total difference. The long houses and the wooden aesthetic and that Norsey yep. kind of look. It's just so different from Oh, you and know, you can see the color the realms. Yeah, it's just vibrant. Like you want to be well, here. This is a place you want to be. Because yep. remember in Two Towers how grim and miserable it was. Yeah. You find more cheer in a graveyard. Oh, so beautiful. It's like a painting comes to life. <laughs> Man, I would never see it. It's so awesome. Oh, what so a good. awesome city. That's quite what a, a cool design, idea. Yeah. What a cool idea of this layered city against the mountain. It does feel like a subtle thing that beyond bottom. the sets themselves being very disparate to give a sense of place. But even like the, has been talked about the lighting compared to you know, like how bright it is. There's a distinctly bright area. So these guys look like they could repel what was sent to Helm's Deep with a, a lot more ease than Rohan could. But then again, you see what these guys have to deal with from Sauron, you're like, oh shit. Especially with yeah, the Nazgul. It's been constant all the time, too. Also, some black pilled leader. And then, you know, yes. Rohan, horse lords and all that, they've got that open ground to just... There are a few qu uh, quite as fuck yeah moments as when Denethor is fucking depressing his whole army and Gandalf hits him in the face. <laughs> like, it's yep. such a... <laughs> You know, to bounce off of your uh, comment about the um, how bright and kind of colorful everything is for me, like compare that to like every fucking fantasy show or movie that's come out oh, lately, right. where it's just all washed dark out. and gritty. Yeah, washed I've been out. Thinking about that well, yeah, a lot, because actually. medieval times were shitty and awful, and no one liked color or things to look nice, and they all just wore shitty brown rags. Rags. Perhaps you come to tell me why my son is dead. 
It's it's the attempts that they make to make sure that the world doesn't feel homogenous, that there's a distinct identity to each of the locations well, that yeah. they visit. Look at this palace then... compared to Edoras. It's completely different. Yep. The stone. God, imagine that just as yeah. you're always. It's got to be so oppressive. It, it keeps you goal-oriented. But I mean, it you know, it's because it's the tip of the spear, isn't it? I know, yeah. It's quite a contrast, you know, especially for the audience. Yeah. That's Mordor, and this is the nice place. Yeah, like beautiful, bright, majestic Minas Tirith cast against the grim, miserable Gondor. Uh, not Gondor, <laughs> Mordor. <laughs> I mean, maybe the mood is a bit grim. Yeah. <laughs> but, the yeah. garrison at Osgiliath falls. The last defense of this city will be gone. You can't feel anything but bad for the people at Osgiliath. That shit is so yeah. difficult. <laughs> Especially because we've already seen that, you know, scene of them taking it back. So, mm. you know, they've been fighting for a long time. We have the white wizard. That's got to count for something. I mean, it's what sets up, you know, why Boromir wants the ring. He's like, we've been fighting for ages. This is what we do all the time. We do it so you don't have to. Quick, quick. They will see. They will see. Oh, I love the sort of tints of color difference with Minas Morgul. I, I'm going to say something a little controversial. I think we need more gargoyles in media. Yes, yes, we mm -hmm. do. Is that controversial? Now, do you, why would you now think that? Let me ask you this. Do you mean like specifically gargoyles like that that are water spouts or just generally spooky statues on stone buildings? Generally spooky statues on stone buildings. You know, I'm for it. I'm for it. Yep. There's more statues, period. We need more statues of great people. Great people like Make gargoyles. Pillars shaped like people. <laughs> Look at that fucking place. So cool. Guys, I'm going to go get an apartment. This is this is when Sauron showed the Witch King this. He's like, this is your house. He was like, oh, yes, you knew. Like, how did you know? This is me. The green accent lighting just makes it. It just feels sickly. Yeah. Dead. And like, it's a, it's a, it's a very specific kind of green. Because green oh, often yeah, represents I mean, we life. Found this check. Oh God! That's, oh God! Yeah, that, there are there are definitely good and bad greens. This is an ominous Look. green. Great battle of our time. It's a real blink and you miss it thing, but I like how the green of the city is kind of like reflecting in the water over the or under that bridge. Yeah. It's just it has like a ghostly feel to it. I fucking love it. God, there's so many beautiful vistas, even when obviously it's very oppressive and scary, but <laughs> Now, time for the incredibly safe staircase. This is Even just showing how proof. black their feet are, how mm -hmm. long they've been on this journey, and how arduous and difficult it's been. Yeah, I think all of these were CG except one that got helicoptered in. I wonder if it's that one. I think it's this one. This one looks like... Yeah, you can like... tell that one's CGI fire, but they it looks like they built and an actual... It looks like it's real and they're there. Yeah, and it is so fascinating to think about how the little this hut. film was for, like, New Zealand as a country. Yeah. We like, were able to New do it. Zealand it's been years. We map. did it. Uh -huh. It's got to be one of the most exciting things of your life if you're one of those dudes stationed there. Yeah. And yeah, then they finally. finally, you're like, yo, we did it. <laughs> and then it's working, and then the next one goes, when and the next one goes. That must be thrilling. It's, it's like the best day of your life. You go home, and you're excitedly tell your wife, like, I finally finally got to light the fire and then your wife's like i know that means we're being invaded <laughs> it's not like, good oh. derek <laughs> well it was it was really exciting you should have been there we watched that thing every fucking day for like six months on our shifts oh, God, these are real mountains <laughs> yeah you know? it's it's absolutely captured pure epicness especially with the music. yeah yeah scene and based on real flames byzantine empire used them uh it, like just it, it was faster for you know setting messages through something like that than obviously horse and rider sort of thing interesting to think about all of those technical limitations back in the day like reliance on doves as well to communicate Look something that's super impressive with the way that they've done Minas Tirith is showing us all of these different places it doesn't feel like a small area because we keep seeing different parts of the city because what we see is probably the maximum amount they had to use and they have to make you believe that it's a part of this huge structure establishing yeah. the mental map but it goes yeah. a long way Very compared important. to if you only have the one place that you keep seeing over and over and over again and showing us just normal parts of the city as well where like people obviously live and work and man these the elephants they just hit hard once again like, wait, wait, wait. very distinct cultural differences for this team oh fuck and Could with the done? music oh. too it feels I so appropriate too in terms of like holy shit that's the destination look how close we uh -huh. are now 
We'll never get through unseen. Yeah, especially with fucking Sauron looking <laughs> Sauron around like, like that. What are you guys doing over there? You, you fucking... I'm gonna find you. <laughs> I'm getting a big feeling that the ring is close. Just saying. I think this is the first time we've seen the eye outside the Palantir this whole movie, right? In this movie, yeah. In this movie. Very, uh, yeah, you really don't see the eye much. It is the first time that any of their main characters have been near the eye, though. Yeah, but yeah. they show, they, they like show it. Sometimes when they refer to it or yeah. in other imagery. Yeah. <clears throat>